hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to revise how to solve exponential equations these are equations with powers or indices i have selected five questions from past exam question papers so we are going to start to revise exponential equation that was in november 2015 Made paper two. The question on solving exponential equation was on number 4b. It is reading, solve the equation 9 to the power of m minus 1 is equals to 27, 3 marks. So when we are saying solving equation, it means that we are supposed to evaluate the value of a given letter. In this case, we are given M, so we are supposed to evaluate the value of M. So in order to evaluate the value of M, the first step is of making our bases to be the same. When we are saying the bases, we mean this 9 and this 27. So we want them to have the same figure on their base. So if we raise 3 to the power of 2, we are going to get 9. If we raise 3 to the power of 3, we get 27. So we need to rewrite 9 as 3 to the power of 2. And this is going to multiply m minus 1. And we say it is equal to 3 to the power of 3. When our bases are now the same, we are having 3 at the left side and 3 at the right side, we can now equate the powers. We say 2m minus 1 is equal to this 3. So here we need to expand this bracket. 2 times m is 2m. 2 times minus 1, we get minus 2. This is equal to 3. And then we need to shift this minus 2 to the other side. Here it is negative 2, so when it shifts to the other side, it is going to be positive 2. So we now have 2m is equals to 3 plus 2. And then we say 2m is equals to 5. We want to make m the subject of formula, so we are going to divide both sides by 2 so that our final answer is going to be m is equal to 5 over 2 or we write it as a mixed fraction which is going to be 2 and half so this is the value of m m is equal to 5 over 2 or m is equal to 2 and half this was the complete solution of the exponential equation that was in November 2015, Maths Paper 2. We want to move on to the next question. The next question which we are going to revise was examined in June 2018, Maths Paper 1. The question on exponential equation was on number 8b. It is reading 4 to the power of 2n minus 3 is equals to 8. So we are supposed to solve the equation. We are supposed to evaluate the value of n. So again, we are going to follow the same procedure that we worked out the exponential equation that was in November 2015. Here we are having 4 and here we are having 8. We need our bases to be the same. So here we are going to raise 2 to the power of 2 and we multiply by 2n minus 3. And then 8, it is 2 to the power of 3. Now that our bases are the same, we can now equate the powers. We need to expand this bracket. 2 times 2n, we get 4n. 2 times minus 3, we get minus 6. This is equals to this 3. And then we shift minus 6 to this side. It is going to be positive 6. So we write our positive 6 here. 
and then we have four n is equals to nine. We divide both sides by four, so that our final answer is going to be n is equals to nine over four, or we write it as a mixed fraction, which is four into nine, it is two, remainder one over four. So either we write two and quarter, or we write nine over four. This was the complete solution for number 8B of June 2018, Maths Paper 1. Let us move on to the third question. We are going to extract our third question from November 2011, Maths Paper 1. The question on solving exponential equation was on number 3B, which is reading, if 32 to the power of negative 2 fifth is equals to 2 to the power of p, find the value of p. The first step is of making our bases to be the same. 32 is 2 to the power of 5. And then we multiply by negative 2 over 5. And then 2 to the power of p is 2 to the power of 1 times p. Now that the bases are the same, we can now equate the powers. 5 into 5, it is 1. 5 into 5, 1. So we are going to have minus 2. And then 1 times p is equals to p. So it implies that the value of p is negative 2. This was the complete solution of exponential equation that was in November 2011. Let us move on to the next question. We are going to extract our fourth question from Maths Paper 2 of November 2009. The question of solving exponential equation was on number 2a, part 2. It is reading 3 to the power of m plus 4 is equal to 9 to the power of m minus 1. We are supposed to evaluate the value of m and the question carries out three marks. The first step here is of making our bases to be the same. 3 is 3 to the power of 1. And then 9 is 3 to the power of 2. So that 2 is going to affect both m and minus 1. After that, we need to expand the brackets. 1 times m, we get 3 to the power of m plus 4, which is equals to 3 to the power of 2 times m is 2m, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Now that our bases are the same, we are having 3 here and 3 here, we can now equate the powers. We say m plus 4 is equals to 2m minus 2. We want to make m the subject of formula, so we need to shift our m's to be on one side. We shift this m to this side. It is going to be 2m minus m. We shift this minus 2 to this side. It is going to be 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 2m minus m, we get 6. So it implies that the value of m is equal to 6. That was complete solution of the exponential equation that was in November 2009, Maths Paper 2. Let us move on to the final question. We are going to extract our final question from Maths Paper 1, June 2005. So the question on solving exponential equation was on number 16, part B. It is reading, Given that 3 to the power of m times 3 to the power of m minus 1 is equals to 81, we are supposed to find the value of m. The first step is of making our bases to be the same, but before we do that, we can apply the multiplication, of, multiplication law of indices. If we are multiplying the numbers with the same base, we add the powers. So here we are going to say it is 3 to the power of m plus m minus 1. And we say this is equals to 81. 
and h1 is 3 to the power of 4. Now that our bases are the same, we can now equate the powers m plus m, we get 2m minus 1 is equals to 4. We shift this minus 1 to the side, it is going to be positive 1. 4 plus 1, we get 5. This is equals to 2m. We divide both sides by 2 in order to make m the subject of formula. So our m is equals to 5 over 2. Uh, this was the complete solution for the exponential equation that was in June 2005, Maths Paper 1. This marks the end of our tutorial today on solving exponential equations. Thank you so much, guys, for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out.